How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's video is something a bit different. It's going to be my FIFA 20 prediction video. So I'm going to be doing the top 10 players I think that will be in FIFA 20. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go from 10 to 1. I'm going to show you what their rating was on FIFA 19 and what I think their rating will be on FIFA 20. Now I've used the FIFA rosters card design to create this uh, card. So I'll leave a link in the description to actually how I create this card. Uh, so thank you to whoever made the design. I also used FootWiz um, to sort of gauge how people felt that players have performed throughout the year. Obviously I can use my own football knowledge but that only might get me so far. Opinions are massive in uh, FIFA ratings so we'll see how it goes. If you have any opinions please let me know down in the comments. If I've missed anyone out also please do let me know. If you go on and enjoy, please do like and subscribe, but let's get right into it. So in at number 10, we have Antoine Griezmann, the new Barcelona man. Um, not being the best year for Atletico Madrid, he was always planning on moving, I think. And I think this move will be key to why he actually does get an upgrade. He's had a good performance, he got the team of the season, 48 games, 21 goals and 10 assists. Um, but Atletico Madrid only won the uh, Super Cup. So, not the best trophy-wise, but I think with him moving to Barcelona, he's going to be a key figure for them. He's going to get that upgrade, which just pushes him into the top 10. He's a 90-rated, but obviously there are a lot of other 90-rated cards, so it was just sort of like, who I fancy putting in the top 10. There are a lot of 90-rated cards, I think, that do miss out. If you'd like to see any of them other ratings, please do let me know. But as for number 10, that is Antoine Griezmann. Get a nice little boost. Just to add as well... I haven't changed any of the stats on the card apart from the overall stat so don't look too deep into that obviously this is not going to be what EA ratings are this is just my opinion and yeah number 10 Antoine Griezmann so up next we have gone for Sergio Aguero now I always feel like this guy's really underrated on FIFA um, he's had some like 87 cards this year he was an 89 great card got the team of the season player of the month in forms all sorts of cards, 46 goals he played for Man City, 32 goals and 10 assists. Now, if them stats don't make you think he deserves an upgrade, then I don't know what. He won the Premier League, League Cup, FA Cup, got really far with the Man City in the Champions League too. And he even got back-to-back hat-tricks, I think, in the Premier League. Three hat-tricks overall. So I think Aguero is just going to get this little boost. Although it's probably not his highest scoring season, he's still going to get that upgrade which sees him go from an 89 to a 90 so that is number nine in at number eight we have Mohamed Salah the no longer one season wonder in the Premier League he had an absolutely fantastic season and um, pushed Liverpool towards the Champions League 52 games he did play across all competitions 27 goals 13 assists now absolutely brilliant he finished joint top scorer uh, in the Premier League not much more you could ask for from Salah really. Really good performance that year. I think it will get him a plus two on his rating going into FIFA 20. Absolutely brilliant card it will be. Um, he'll have the dribbling. The weak foot now is fantastic on FIFA as well. The speed, the finishing. He has to be up there with one of the best finishers in the game in the Premier League as a winger. Um, I think it will be a fantastic card. One of the most expensive Premier League cards at the start. But I can't wait to try him out. That front three, Mane, Firmino and Salah, they will have all have been upgraded into FIFA 20. So I can't wait to see how they perform. Into the next one we go. So in at number seven, we have Kylian Mbappe. Now, Mbappe, when I've looked at the stats of like the players that I think were going to get upgrades into FIFA 20, Mbappe really did surprise me the most. 20 years old, he's won the World Cup. He's won the French League what three times now. 43 games, 39 goals, 17 assists. Them stats are absolutely ridiculous. And I think it will get him the boost to get to a 90 rated, if not a 91 rated. With Neymar goals, he's still going, he's going to be the most important player at PSG. And it wouldn't surprise me if he does get a big money move transfer to Real Madrid in the upcoming summer. He won the Liga Player of the Year and also the Young Player of the Year, which is just ridiculous. He was the top scorer as well. What more can you say about Mbappe? His card is going to probably cost north of 500k when FIFA starts, but it's going to be stupidly good. Can't wait to try him out. Um, 
yeah, I think he'll probably get a winter upgrade as well. But that's getting a bit of ahead of ourselves. Really good card. Can't wait to try it out. So up next is something a bit different. It's actually a defender. Now, it seems like Van Dijk is splitting opinions because is 90 a minimum upgrade for him? Will he actually get a 91 rating that Ramos had last year? I don't think Ramos will keep his 91 rating, as you'll find out. I think he will be downgraded. Van Dijk is clearly the best defender in the world now. 50 games, 6 goals, 4 assists. But for a defender, that's not important. That just shows he goes above and beyond what defenders normally do. He won the PFA Player of the Year for the Premier League and also won the Champions League. I think there's a stat like he didn't get dribbled past all of last season, which is just stupid. And he helped Liverpool get 21 clean sheets in the Premier League. I think Alisson as well, it could be up for debate that he did deserve a 90 rating. I don't think he'll get 90, I think he will get 89. But still, them two signings for Liverpool are massive. Them uh, ratings are going to really boost into FIFA 20. And I think, yeah, Van Dijk deserves his place as the best defender in FIFA 20. That card from the get-go is just going to be a monster. Here we go then, the top five. Now, Kevin De Bruyne didn't probably play as many games as he would have liked. 32 games he did play, only the six goals, but 11 assists. Now, in the past, he's really, really got a lot more assists than that. And I think that was just down to the injury problems. But we've already seen how good he was against Man City with the 5-0 win. I think he did get an assist and was just instrumental. Uh, I expect him to do really well this year. I think he'll maintain his rating from last year, so there's no change. But I don't think it'll drop because purely he didn't play that much. And he, when he did, he still was really good. Won the Premier League, League Cup and FA Cup. So yeah, De Bruyne does deserve to maintain his rating. I think... When he's fit, he probably will just get better and better now. 91 is probably going to be his base card this year, and he will get a lot of informs. So I'm looking forward to see how he performs. Can't wait to try his card out in FIFA. Let's get to number four. This is where things get exciting. You'll probably guess who's coming up, but I do think there might be a few tweaks. So now Neymar, I actually think he will get a downgrade. A downgrade from a 92 to a 91. Now, the reason being, I just don't think he's been there in the key games this year. Although he's got 28 games, 23 goals and 13 assists, which <laughs> it was any other player, it's just ridiculous. But he missed a lot of games through injury, so he missed ones against the likes of Man United in the Champions League. Missed a few others around them times, and I think that'll just be enough to knock his rating down. If he moves to Barcelona, though, I can't imagine his rating will change. He's the Liga champion still and the Super Cup winner, but I'm not sure if he's maintained his levels from the previous years, which actually got him that 92 rating. It'll be really interesting to see if he can get back to that form when he was at Barcelona. He's an unbelievable player. It'll be really exciting to see. So, final three. Now, I think Eden Hazard, the new Real Madrid man, will make it into the top three. I think with him being the cover star of FIFA, that is already going to get him a rating boost. He was a 91 last year when he was at Chelsea, and I think he will push to a 92 or even a 93. So important for Chelsea last year. They wouldn't have won the Europa League or finished in the top four if it wasn't for this man. 52 games, 21 goals, 17 assists. What more can you say? Eden has the best Premier League player there has been for the last five years. I think he's going to do really well at Real Madrid. Get Probably get informed team of the seasons. But he has actually made it into that top three now which makes him one of the best players on FIFA hopefully his card can really replicate what he can do in real life now onto the final two this was tricky these two are classified as like the goats on the one hand we've got Ronaldo on the other we've got Messi now for me in number two is Ronaldo he's going to maintain his 94 rating I believe 43 games 28 goals 10 assists he's a Serie A champion I think he won the Supercoppa Italiana and the UEFA Nations League uh, winners. So, yeah, very good for Ronaldo on the trophies. But I just think he he didn't push beyond what he'd done in the previous year when he went to Juventus. I think he will maintain his rating. But I, on the other hand, I think that man, Lionel Messi, will go up a rating. 50 games, 51 goals, 22 assists. No one's putting in numbers like this. is absolutely ridiculous. Had some amazing moments in the season, such as against Liverpool. Scored hat-tricks, all sorts. Just 
so many good performances from Messi and I think that will be enough to finally see his rating go to a 95 and overtake Ronaldo. He's won the La Liga and the Supercoppa. Not the best season for Messi trophy wise but he also finished top scorer in the Champions League by 4 goals. It just showed how much he was above everyone else. Absolutely ridiculous. So that is the list. Now obviously this is just my opinion and it's very subject to change. We'll see how EA does it. I'll come back and I'll show how EA have done their top 10 compared to mine. Maybe I've got player predictions totally wrong but I've really just enjoyed looking into the stats of players from this season, seeing how well players such as Mbappe, Salah, who's apparently had a bad season, some people have said, but yeah, they've just set such high standards. That is my top 10. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do like and subscribe for much more content very similar to this. That is the end of the video. I'll see you guys later.